My mom and dad were very young parents, and they both had to work odd jobs, so I was left to myself a lot. But one of the ways I would get to spend time with my dad is he would take me to work driving his ice cream truck. I'd sit in the truck and eat the ice creams as he was selling them to everybody. <laughs> I did feel special. I didn't feel alone at that time. But my life took a turn for the worse when my parents split up. Stephanie's dad was a truck driver, so he was on the road a lot. Him and I had a fallout, and he left me with the kids. Stephanie has three brothers, and so I met somebody, and I moved in with this guy. Found out he was an alcoholic that liked to abuse. I had no support whatsoever. And then so I called my husband, Stephanie's dad, and said I needed help. And he said, if you can get out of there and get back to California, I'll help you. You know, we can work on our relationship. And I said, OK, all right, thinking everything was going to be OK. And we would get back together when we got there. So I remember we had just got away. And we made it to California. But by the time we made it to California, and within the next day or two, we got the call that he was gone. Our dad passed away. He was in an accident. Stephanie was devastated. It was a nightmare. We were homeless. We lived out of our car. And then my mom called CPS, told the CPS people I wasn't taking care of him. And the day I found out he passed away, they took me into foster care because my mom didn't have a proper place for us to live. And it was, it was really hard. I didn't get to cry. I get told he died, and then I get taken away from my mom. It's like I lost two parents the same day. I didn't get to talk about it. I just, I just had to be strong for my brothers and put my emotions away. So I ate whatever I could to suppress them, something to make me happy. I was in foster care for about four years. 